that's it. Ouais. Ok, c'est bon. So right now we are under the Jean Cartier bridge. Um, I, I will show you how to change the bearing device on the bridge. So right now, just here, we have a brand new bearing device that we changed a few nights ago. To change this bearing device, what we have to do is that we have to a, a, a slightly lift the Jean Cartier bridge at night between 1 a.m. and 4 a.m. When we lift the bridge, we cut the columns of the Jean Cartier bridge here. We can we cut this part, we put it off, and we have here temporary columns, two of them here. That will the, the bridge is will be uh, by Sutni, with these temporary columns. And because we have here, we have a, a, an empty space during the day, we can work on the space and we came with a new bearing device that we have here and we can put it right here. And during another night from 1 a.m. to 4 a.m., we put a, a, the, the, the bridge is uh, putting it back on this new bearing device. So we can break the lenses and that we don't need them anymore, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll not, we'll not uh, keep them. So this is just a temporary device to support the bridge. But right now, we don't need the support device because the new bearing device is there. And the bearing device, what is, it's, uh, what, why there's some bearing device under, under the bridge? that all the bearing devices are uh, above the uh, column of a bridge and all the, the circulation and the traffic uh, and with the changing of temperature all the uh, steel structure of the bridge is always changing a little bit of uh, with the uh, when it's hot or colder it's always moving a little bit so the bearing device you can see we always move a little bit with the changing of the temperature of the bridge so it's really important that all this uh, this effort of the bridge is not going into the columns so that's why we put this uh, kind of device it's like on a car when you have like a, a bump on a car you have this uh, on your wheels you make sure that, that it doesn't go uh, on your car it's uh, so it's the same uh, kind of idea so with, with this bearing device we make sure that all the traffic and the changing uh, of the temperature all the movement of the vibration of the bridge is not going right through the column in the bearing device who's uh, moving a little bit so this part is always changing a little bit we don't see it right away because it's a little movement it's not big it's with time there's always a little bit of movement but it's we cannot see it with the eyes so that's the kind of, of work that we're doing right now there are 70 uh, mobile bearing device on all the bridge that we have to change uh, right now, we have uh, we work on the bridge until 2006, and we have already changed 27 uh, of that kind of uh, bearing device. And this year, we'll change 12 of them, uh, 15 of them, uh, 12 of them. Sorry. And uh, after that, so more than the half of all the bearing de device that we have to do will have been changed uh, after this year. So that's what we call a maintenance program. So it's not major program, uh, there's no emergency, but it's just to make sure that we keep the bridge uh, in a good shape. So it's the kind of device that helps us make sure that the bridge is uh, it's in a good shape. He, uh, he, he, he continued not to, uh, because it's the, the kind of problem, if we don't want to do it all of them in one a year. It's important for us to have a planification and to do a little bit by a little bit every year to not come in with a lot of closures but little closures and uh, that's all the program that we have to do for the next years um, so to change uh, the device like this and what is interesting it's that the part that we've cut it's uh, it's a part of the bridge that was there like when the bridge opened in uh, 1930 so it's it's, the, it's the, the green part of the bridge we call cut the old part of the bridge and the new design that we right now uh, in, in integrate to the, to the Jean Cartier bridge, uh, we integrate it to make sure that when we will come back, maybe in 25 years, 30 years, to change again a bearing device, it's going to be more easy than it was for, th for this year. Why? We, we will not need this kind of columns anymore because right now all this is necessary because we don't have the space to lift the bridge uh, just right here. 
uh, we have to put that kind of colors. But this piece of steel right now is, is brand new. And one will come back for in, in uh, 20, 25 years. The, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, jacks that will be used to lift the bridge, we will put it just right here. So we, don't, we will not need it for this kind of color. So we're, working, we're also working for the future to make sure that one will came back. It's not. It's going to be more easy to just lift the bridge with a jacks, a powerful jacks here and here, and to lift a little bit the bridge and to change this uh, bearing device. So we're doing the work, but we also uh, will simplify our life for the future to do that kind of, of work because a bearing device is normal when, because it's always moving with the, the temperature. It's of course a, a device that has to be changed uh, every 25, 30 years, depending on how the, the bridge is used, how, how much traffic there is, how much trucks there is. Uh, so we'll, we know that we'll have to change as part of the bridge, like in the car, you have to change some part. But now, right now we're thinking to make sure that the, the, this work will be simpler for the future. And the bearing device that was there just until now wasn't doesn't date from 1930. This device? The, the old one. The, uh, the other device, the, uh, the uh, top of the columns was there uh, in, when we built the bridge. The only thing that we've changed, it's uh, between, we can do it uh, at, at the okay. bottom, it's going to be simpler, but we just changed the uh, plates between okay. the, uh, the columns. The plates was new, but not new because we uh, put it 20 years ago, uh, but we changed it, but all the device, the end of the columns, well, is the uh, original parts of the bridge. Okay. And you're doing other work besides this as you go? Uh, uh, the other work that we no, do around here, like uh, oh, yeah, because we have a work site here, uh, we make sure that while we doing the uh, changing of the bearing device, we also do some steel repair of the structures. So all the part that is gray, uh, it's brand new uh, steel plate that we put on the bridge, and we will also paint them like with all the uh, with a green color, like the rest of the bridge. So when we do a work site like like here, we. Uh, take the, the time to changing the bearing device but also to do some work on the steel part of the bridge while we're, we have a work site that is here. So we'll cut after this work site will be over. We have a team uh, that is uh, mobilized uh, at another hires of the bridge to do the same kind of work. So for uh, from now until June we'll have some uh, closures like that to do some of the bearing device, 12 of them and we uh, Prioritize the, the one that, of course, are the more like uh, the, uh, more, uh, that has to be changed. Um, uh, when, when we do our inspection, inspection every years, we can see the ring device that are the oldest one, and that's the kind of them that we prioritize to change uh, uh, in priority. And uh, it's um, it's always good to, to have a, an access to the structures, but because it's always good to to repair the structures to make sure that it's. it's Stay in a good condition. As you can feel, the the, 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 the paint, the color, the painter, and the, uh, the uh, steel structure of the Jacques Cartier bridge is still pretty good, in a good shape. Because every time we go into a platform, we do that kind of work. We always take that the, the, the opportunity to do some repairs. Okay. So the, right now, the bridge is actually up a few centimeters, a few a millimeter. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. In the, the, this part, it's a little, yeah, uh, ten millimeters. Okay. Yeah. And then the, when we lift the bridge with the powerful jacks, we get the 10 millimeters. But because it's just millimeters, the, the, when there's traffic, the user cannot feel that difference. It just gives us a little space to put to take back the old uh, repairing device. So why do you have to close the bridge for those two, uh, few hours overnight? When we close the bridge overnight, it's when we, did the, we do the operation of lifting the bridge or to put it down. So when we put the powerful jacks and we do the operation of lifting the bridge, it's uh, around uh, uh, 300 tons that are lift. So if we put uh, the traffic there too, it's gonna be really, really heavy. So and it's really a delicate operation. So when we do that operation, it's really important for us that there's no traffic. But when the, the, the operation is done and the bridge has been lift, and we uh, we put some temporary columns to, to uh, make sure to support it, then the traffic can come back and we can continue the work. The work is is doing in continuous shift for 48 hours. There's always some workers there to, to work on the these support beams. Uh, and, but we choose to do it, of course, at night between 1 and 4 to make sure that 
there's the less impact for the traffic because uh, a lot of, of changing for uh, for the workers uh, are, are uh, around midnight. So of course, starting at 1 a.m., we make sure that people who's working uh, around uh, who's finishing work at midnight can came back by the Jacques Bridge, and it's, it's also the the the, the period where there is less traffic on the on the uh, in Montreal region. Okay. And the next one will be over the river. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be over the river. But you can't put these pillars in. How do you support uh, the structure? The pillars under the river are more like this. Uh, uh, are more uh, in the middle of the bridge. It's not the same kind of pyres. It's uh, pyres made of concrete. So it's a different different device that we use to lift the bridge. We, we don't need in that kind of device the, the temporary column because there's more space on the top of the pyres so we can lift the, the bridge in other, in other different uh, methods. But uh, of course, this uh, method here for the steel structure is the, the one is more complex. Here right now is the most more complex work site to do that kind of work because there's less space when we have a steel uh, pyres like we have in Montreal, uh, uh, in the Montreal region. But when we go under the water, there, it's more complex because we are above the water, but we have more space above the uh, pyres to do uh, that kind of, uh, of work. And how much is the work going to cost? The work for the 12 bearing device, it's $3.5 million. But it's not just to change a bearing device, it also includes all the, the as I told you, the, all the work on the steel structures. So it's a, it's, a, it's a contract to change the bearing device, but also to do a, a, some uh, reversion to the steel structures. So for one year. And that's 3.5 for all of that work? 3.5 for all of that. Okay, perfect. Great. Thank you very much.